Hello, it's Bob Baker here with the first in a series of videos called How to Become an Empowered Artist. That's right, for 30 days in a row, I'm gonna post a short video showing you ways that you can step into your power as a musician, as a visual artist, a writer, or some other type of creative entrepreneur. No matter when you watch this video series, I know you'll get a lot out of it, but if you happen to be watching before July 2nd, 2014, this series is actually a month-long promotion to spread the word about my first ever fan funding or crowdfunding campaign for a new book called The Empowered Artist. And while it might be about a book launch, it's actually so much more than that. It's really a movement. It's a mission that I've been on most of my life to remind creative people, to remind artistic people around the world of the value that they deliver to the world. So if you're watching before July 2nd, click the link below or somewhere on this page uh, to find out how you can support that movement and that crowdfunding campaign. Campaign. Even after the fact, click there to find out how you can in get involved in this movement because it's not going to stop just after July 2nd, okay? So here's the first one. It's actually a phrase that I've been using in a message that I've been spreading for decades, really, and here it is. Give yourself permission to succeed. I'll repeat that. Give yourself permission to succeed. You see, a lot of creative people, they're looking for some sort of external validation. They want someone to tell them that they're worthy. I mean, it really does stem from a sense of self-worth or a lack thereof. So people look outside of themselves to deem themselves worthy. And so they either need you know, a good review or they need someone to, to give them praise, which is fine. We all need praise and encouragement. We want to get feedback from our fans and our customers that we're doing a good job. That's cool. But when you rely on those things for your own feeling of self-worth, that's when it can get a little dangerous. Also, a lot of people think that, well, nobody's going to take me seriously unless I have a degree or I have a certification or I have schooling or what have I done to be worthy of being a writer or being a painter or musician, etc. So to become an empowered artist, you almost have to have a feeling of self-appointment. You choose yourself. You give yourself permission to pursue this creative endeavor that you are attracted to. So don't be waiting for a green light or a knight in shining armor to come along and <laughs> rescue you. Give yourself the go-ahead. Hire yourself. Give yourself the certification. And sometimes people think that they have to have some kind of letters behind their name, MD or doctor or something to be taken seriously. And I think that's nonsense. I can't help but think of my friend Greg Tamlin, who's a musician and a speaker from Kansas City. And quite often he lists his name as Greg Tamlin, NCW. You know what those stand for? No credentials whatsoever. I love that, and so should you. Now let me be clear, there are certain things that you legally are required to have a license or something. You know, you can't be a lawyer or an uh, accountant or whatever. There's some fields where you do need some sort of a certification. You can't just wake up someday and go, I proclaim that I'm a brain surgeon, and then start performing brain surgery on people. Obviously, I'm not talking about things like that. But just to be a writer, to be a musician, to be a visual artist, you don't need anyone's okay. You are worthy of pursuing it because you have said so. You feel that way. You feel an inclination to do it. So step into your power. Now, there are some people that can take this too far and they start being boastful and start announcing that they're the best thing since the Beatles and what, whatever. Now, that seemed to have worked for Cassius Clay or Muhammad Ali decades ago for for most people uh that's really not what i'm talking about here okay i'm talking about an inner sense of confidence and ownership that you are an artist so that's the first important step here in becoming an empowered artist is giving yourself permission to succeed okay can you do that Again, this is just the first of 30 daily videos and audio programs that I'm going to be uh, posting throughout my networks and on YouTube. There'll be a playlist for it. Click the link somewhere <laughs> below or on the page, wherever you're watching this. And if it's before uh, July 2nd, 2014, please, I encourage you to check out this campaign, this movement, this mission that I'm on to empower artists. If you can contribute to that, that would be wonderful. After that date, there's still ways that you can get involved. So feel free to leave a comment here on what you think about this whole idea of giving yourself permission to succeed. Uh, let's interact here. I, this is not just a one-way conversation. I want to hear from you too. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for 29 more over the coming month. I'm Bob Baker saying so long for now.